happy guinea pig! Here we go! Hi, I'm Aline. Welcome to my kids. And today I'm going to be doing uh, pork and beans. And no, not those kind of pork and beans. I've got a pork roast here that I need to cook. I was going to cook it the other day and thawed it out, so it's got to be cooked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this up into pieces and put it in my cooker here. And I'm going to cook some pintos with it. And, uh, yeah, it says Christmas mix. That's my candy jar. But what I'm going to do is I'm just pouring some. Yeah, I don't measure my beans. I just look to see about how many I've got in there, and that's how many I cook. And that's about what I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do... So I'm going to pour me some water over them and wash them really good. Now, a lot of people, my granny did this and my mama did this, they would uh, put their beans out the night before to soak. They'd wash them good and put some water over them and let them soak all night. Then they'd get up the next morning and pick through the beans and clean them. And a lot of people, they don't understand what picking through the beans means. Pick through the beans means you're picking out any gravel, first of all. That's the first thing you're looking for is gravel. And yeah, we don't have as much gravel in our beans today because it actually goes through a process where they're cleaned a lot better. But there are also some beans that uh, they're not good. They're, they're bad beans. Now, my granny, she'd pick out the half beans like that right there and put them to the side. I'm just going to flat out tell you. I'll add those to my beans. I'm not worried about those. I'm worried about the shriveled up ones. I'm worried about rocks. I'm kind of worried about things that, um, let me put some of these down. So we'll Cause y'all got to remember folks, for some of you that don't really know how things go, these things come up out the ground and well, everything in a garden and they get picked and they get picked by machinery and that machinery is going to pick up everything that gets in the way. And, right. And, you know, it, it don't just magically appear in a grocery store and there it is. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a process and you can see that water right there is already dirty. I'm thinking about having Piggy get my strainer and go ahead and strain this off and put me some fresh water over that. You don't want none of that dirty in your beans. If you'll uh, strain them for me, Piggy. Strain them? Yeah. And then put me some fresh water over them. I'm going to get Piggy busy. And while he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and cut up this meat right here and put it in there. And this is just pork roast. I'm going to close that up and we'll rinse that bag out in a little bit. And you'll see I have... There's fat stuff still on there right there. I'm going to have that dry a little bit. Well, I want that fat in there. That means I don't have to add any extra oil or fats to my meat, uh, to my beans. You'll see I'm... Adding that water. Yeah, you just sit that right there. I'll, I'll give you this, let you rinse that, and I'll set this over here to the side. That's strawberry juice? No, that's pork juice. <laughs> And like I said, I'm just going to cut this into chunks. I like having a meat in my beans. To me, it just gives it a better flavor. Put those in there. Put those and this is a part of the big old roast that Piggy and I bought earlier this year and put in the freezer. Uh, bought two rows to got four out of it because we separated them out. Y'all Piggy made the strawberry juice reference because Piggy don't know what he did right, but he, he, he got treated to biscuits and gravy and strawberry jam and apple pie filling for uh, sweets on the biscuits and eggs and pork chop and sliced mater and Oh man, the piggy is stuffed, and after we do this right here, the piggy gonna go take a nap before we jump in on Pooch's live tonight. Alright, yeah. Now I'm about to clean my beans again. 
And yeah, I'll pick three of these. I'm just gonna pick them, pitch them in there. And uh, nine times out of ten, when I'm going through my beans, I might find I would say a good 15, 20 beans, if that, uh, that need to be tossed. And uh, like I said, my mom and granny, they would soak their beans overnight. And I'm just going to flat out tell you, if you soak your beans, it don't take as long to cook them. But um, if you don't soak your beans, it might take a little extra time to cook. Well, I'm one of those that uh, I really never know a day in advance what I'm going to be cooking the next day unless I have it planned out. This is something I did not have planned. Matter of fact, he can tell you, I had to hunt for my pintos. I didn't even know if I had any. Folks, oh, she's like a shift on the fly, full wheel drive. She gets it going. Yep. I thought it hit her head, and here she goes. Okay. When I say a shriveled up bean, y'all, this is what I'm talking about. Something like that right there. Okay, I'm saying, I don't use those because a lot of times they're not good and they stay hard even I've when you cook them. I've got it zoomed in. I can see, let me you do see that. if I can get a little closer here. That's what she's talking about, shriveled up bean, folks. Yeah, I mean. It looks like a wrinkled old man. And right there's another one. You can see that. I, I, just, I don't use those because they stay hard even after you cook them. And then there's some, it's just bad, 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 bad. do look gray and other things. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a case of once you start picking through them, and you'll be able to see. And I have to admit, my eyesight ain't half what it used to be. So. Pig ain't never had even what she had. So. It's a case of, uh, if I miss one, oh well, you know. And I guarantee you, these people, I've missed rocks and other things, and I know other people have too, because you get your beans done, you bite in something hard, you're, uh, uh, not good. It ain't fine, but it happens. It happens, you know. But this right here is just, you know, showing you, you know, just wash them, pick through them, put them in whatever you're going to cook them in. And like I said, if you want to, a, a shorter cook time, make sure you put them on the soak the night before, or else put them on the soak early in the morning so that by lunchtime or whatever, you can put them on to cook. Or if you know you're going to do it the next day, go ahead and do it the night before. And yeah, that's what I was saying, do it the night before. Yeah, I, th I was sitting here thinking that I should just sit that it. But yeah, I mean, and that's how I said how my granny would do it because my granny, she had to know what she was going to be fixing so that she could plan her day. And my mama was the same way. If my mama was going to cook beans and uh, she cooked them quite a bit. I mean, I, I ate a lot of beans growing up, y'all, whether it was white beans, pinto beans, uh, butter beans. Now, butter beans, you don't have to soak. But, uh, Like I said, my mama, she would do that, and she would, like I said, she'd wash her beans, she'd soak her beans, put them on to cook, and I've got my trusty cooker here. I can put my water in. I can set this thing for a certain amount of time. I can come check on it off and on, and they ain't going to burn too often, especially if I don't forget to, cut, uh, to check them and add water to them as needed. Now, Folks, that little cooker right there do all sorts of things. Yeah, this right here is the one I deep. I used to deep fry in before I got. I started using my other deep fryer. But this thing right here, it will it stay, uh, cook rice. It's got a rice setting on it. It's got a hold or a warm setting. It's got a bowl. Uh, I think it's a. I can't read what that says. That says boil and steam. That says roast. And that Where? says deep fry. That second one right there. It says uh, hold no. warm, 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, what's that next one say? This or, one? No, this one. This one? Yeah. Simmer, 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. That says uh, boil, steam, 212 degrees Fahrenheit. 
roast 350 degrees Fahrenheit, deep fry 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And we will be using the boil setting for the beans. Do, 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 do. All right now, great. You grabbing that meat. We got a little stool over here we have for Charlie to sit on while we're in here, and he's not on it, but Gray is. And Gray evidently wanted some pet because he reached the claw out and grabbed my shorts. No, I'm sorry it takes long. It, I think it takes longer to go through and clean them than it does to anything. Because once I set them, we'll come back and we'll check and see how they're doing. But I don't have to set them, and this will be a process today, y'all, because it'll take about three hours for these things to cook. It'd be the pork and the beans in there, right? Pork, beans, and I'm going to put some onion in it. All right, so we're going to have some pork and beans with onion. Yeah, and season. <laughs> and normally for cooking beans, if you don't put the pork in it or anything or any kind of meat with some fat on it, you need to add oil or lard or shortening or something to it to put a fat in it for the beans to cook right. And... Uh, of course, you need to season your beans, whether you use salt, pepper, seasoning salts, whatever. And I'm going to do that here in a minute. And I'm still picking my beans out. I've got another handful here to do here in just a second, folks, and then I'll show you me doing the rest. I'm sorry it's taking so long. I apologize on that. But uh, at least it gives you an idea of what you're going through when you're doing this stuff. You can see I've got me a little bitty pile of beans there that I've been picking out. I have yet to actually do a pile of beans and not have, or, or do it, or pick through some beans and not have a small pile. I think the smallest amount I've ever had on picking through beans was like eight beans that come out. And that was a really clean pack of beans, and I don't remember where I got them. All right, I'm going to give Piggy the water. I'm going to go ahead and pour this water I've got right here on there. That's plain water. And Piggy, I need to get me a little bit of water, please. Dry that up. Y'all, I'm throwing beans everywhere. Huh? I'm good. Jack, what up the hell? That pail of water. Um... I thought I had me enough. I was I need a small knife to cut this up with. And y'all say, I've only got about a fourth of an onion here. Yeah, that'll work. I've got about a fourth of an onion here. And, uh, let's see, I'm just making slices, and then I'm going to cross it to make little slices. And... Fancy you like my share over and I'll be honest with y'all, if I had some fresh jalapeno, I'd be putting that in there as well. That'd be good. Yeah. I mean, you can put anything in your beans you want to put in your beans. It's whatever you like to eat. If you like jalapenos, put jalapenos in there. If you don't like jalapenos, leave them out. If you like onion, put onion in there. If you don't like onion, leave it out. If you like habaneros or other hotter peppers, you can do that. Yeah, I mean, that's the good More thing about to you, that, That's the good thing about all that is that you can always cook to your taste. I'm put that right there. Get it out of the way. Now I'm going to turn around and I'm going to grab my seasonings, y'all. And because it's got the fresh pork, you know I'm definitely doing salt. I'm definitely going to do some black pepper. That's my go-to right there on the seasonings, y'all. Raw pepper. pork. Do the salt or pay the price. Yeah. I love black pepper as a seasoning. It's probably one of my all-time favorites. And, yeah, I'm going to use, I'm just opening the big enough this time because I'm going to sprinkle some of this rub in there. That's Piggy's the rub. And, no, you cannot buy it in the store. If anybody's interested in it, they'll have to contact me. Contact me with my email address. Excuse me. And I will let you know how you can get some Piggy's the rub. That pepper must have traveled over here. And I'm going to add this water up. Make sure that's well covered. And I don't know if y'all can see in there or not. 
But I'll let Piggy show you what I got going on here. Sorry, y'all. Piggy was over here washing the dish. Piggy's me. always over here washing dishes, running water. I don't think he's a piggy. I think he's a fish. Well, when I used to be on a swim team a long time ago, they thought I was a fish. So that's what it looks like in the pot. Now, this is how I set my... That's all that onion floating around in there, ain't it? Yep. Okay. I got this on. And I'm going to put this up on boil and steam. That third setting right there. I'm going to set my timer. And right there. It takes a while to get there, folks. And I'm going to set it for about three hours because I know it'll take at least that long to cook. Uh, folks, it'll be good. We we'll probably won't eat it till tomorrow, though. Cause I'll eat some tonight. Piggy already stuffed to the dickens off that meal she cooked a little while ago. That's okay. Let's give Piggy something to eat tomorrow while I'm gone doing what I got to do tomorrow. Yeah, well, you know. Sorry, Piggy. And I'll probably check on this about every hour or so. When I come in and check on it, I'll bring y'all along with me and show you what it's doing. And see if it needs any water. All right. Well, folks, back in the day, this was, this was top notch. All right. I've had this thing over 20 years. It is on now. And I just shut that down, and it will cook. I'm going to scoot it right there a little bit close to that. Give Piggy the jug back right there. And we shall see y'all probably about an hour, hour and a half, somewhere I'll come check the water levels. And uh, it'll be her. Piggy probably be laying down taking a nap. That's fine. We'll see y'all in about an hour, an hour and a half. Hey, y'all, I'm back. And I just want to let you know, it's been about 45 minutes. And I'm going to check this. Whoo, hot. Y'all, hot's hot, heat's hot. And you can see the meat is cooking good. Beans are looking good. I'll probably have to add some water the next time I come in to check on this. But right now, they're cooking good, cooking down. And they've been smelling good since about 15 minutes or so after I put them on. So, put that there. And we shall see y'all in a bit. Okay, y'all, I'm back. It's been well over an hour. I had to come in and check it while ago, and I added some water. You'll see everything's cooking down. The beans are cooking really good. Uh, the timer says it's got about 50 minutes, so it's been cooking about two, a little over two hours. You see that, that uh, meat I put in there is pretty much almost done. The beans really are getting tender, but I'm going to let them cook that last 50 minutes. Close that back down and let it go. And next time we come in, they should be done. We'll check them to make sure. And if they're not, well, we'll let them cook a little longer. So see you in about 50 minutes or so. Here we go. All right, y'all. It hadn't been quite three hours. They're still about, I want to say, Somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes left on it. But I checked it. The beans are done. So I'm cutting that off and putting it and letting it go to warm. And y'all, these beans look good. Look good. Oh, look, look at that. Bubble, 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 bubble. You see, they cook back down a little bit. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to get a little bit of them here to taste test. If I can do that. Don't want a great lot. Piggy gonna have to refrain. Piggy's still full from earlier today. That's one reason why I'm not eating a whole lot, but I do have uh, this cooked for tomorrow. And cook some cornbread to go with it. Oh boy. So we're gonna do a oh look how tender that meat is. So I just with the four, uh, with the spoon, I mean just just fell right apart. Just cooks right apart. And I'll show you how tender the beans are. We not we all know pintos can be hard. But I can just like that thing keep winding up, tightened up. I, I, don't know. I keep it loose. I tightened it up earlier because it flopped on me. 
Well, that's probably why. But like I said, you can take and just smash that bean right there, and you see it just smash so easy. Oh, yeah. So that's That'd good. That'd be easy to eat. I'm going to be good and tender, so I'm going to get me a small bite of the bean and a small bite of the meat. That right there is something that if you're like a piggy and you got some helpers you have to put in to eat, well, mm. you don't have to put them in. You can just eat that act like it is. Mm. Y'all, those beans are good. That's I'm going to finish eating this. I might even get me some more of these. I'll probably eat me some more of these because these are good. I actually had a really good seasoning on them. Didn't put too much salt. Has just enough seasoning. Mm. Tender. Like a bean is supposed to be. So, I hope y'all like my video on my pork and beans. Everybody have a great day. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Where's my boy?